if I do a cartoon about religion, um, which I think is entirely protected by the Constitution and is an interesting comment about something, trying to make a new connection that people haven't made before or that they're not making commonly, uh, I find that there are people who, who, you know, who throw up their hands in horror and then, you know, and then try and take action against me and all that. I think those things have to be tested. Yeah, and it's interesting that you bring the issue of religion up because your current work with Lord Ganesha, Ganesha, Lord Ganesha, your current work has been mocked a lot by the Hindu community. Mocked wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't <laughs> I think they would say I'm doing the mocking. They, 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 yes, yeah. well, yeah. And You've actually, been, I don't agree with that. It's been described as you mocking the Hindu society through your illustration of cricket essays, um, latest uh, current mm. state of cricket in South Africa. Just to, to be absolutely clear about it, I did a cartoon um, using a Hindu symbol, a Hindu, de a Hindu deity, uh, Lord Ganesha, which is an elephant. There's an elephant's head with a, a, oh. with a human body and four, four arms. Great symbol, beautiful image. Um, but you see, I have a different standard than some religious people as to what is appropriate to use. I used that as a metaphor. I didn't use that to say anything bad about Hinduism or about, uh, or about uh, Ganesha, the, 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 the deity, the god. Not at all. Um, I, I used the, that metaphor to comment about cricket and to, to criticize both the Indian Cricket Board, which is Ganesha in my drawings, clearly labelled as such. But as also, you've also labelled uh, Ganesha as the symbol of wealth and greed. Well, uh, that, that's, <laughs> you see, that, that would be an interpretation that goes beyond what's actually in the cartoon. What's in the cartoon is the Indian Cricket Board with a lot of money in the hands and a, and a cricket bat. Uh, if somebody then infers that uh, that's saying something about Ganesha and about Hinduism, uh, then, then I think that that, that's a, that really would be, I mean, if people make that serious case, which they have, I think it's a misunderstanding of cartooning. I think it's also a misunderstanding of freedom of speech within a, within a, a, a secular democracy that has a strong constitution backing it up. So the, the press ombudsman's ruling has just come in. Um, on all substantive issues, it rules in our favor, in favor of the newspaper, in favor of, of the, the cartoon and, and, and me as a cartoonist. It does have an odd little rider which says that the cartoon was, in his opinion, in bad taste, uh, which I thought was entirely unnecessary. I mean, he first of all ruled on all the issues and then he made a subjective decision that it was in bad taste. I mean, that's neither here nor there. Bad taste is in the eye of the beholder. It's not part of the press code. Um, not in my, in my understanding of the press code. Uh, if we didn't breach the press code, I don't know why he had to go and add that rider. And in fact, the other thing that I think is really important, and I've discussed this with my lawyers uh, on, on numerous occasions, as you can imagine, cartooning and satire are part of that convention in society that, that are almost given the license to offend, to insult, to push the boundaries, because that's the function that they that actually serve in society. So I just feel that, that I, I think a different ombudsman would have also ruled in our favor, but wouldn't have added the right of so-called bad taste. And I, I think if we do have to test anything uh, further, we must just keep doing what we do. But is there another metaphor that you could have used? You know, there, 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 there's always other metaphors. Um, but, but why should I be precluded from using that? The, the question I would ask is why should I not use that metaphor if it comes to mind and if it feels like it's going to make a good cartoon. And why should I not use crucifixes and yamulkas and, uh, and, and burkas? But why, I'm saying that religion and all the religious symbols are all part of ways of thinking that have been devised by human beings to understand the world. There's, there's, there's no tangible evidence of, I mean, is, is the Lord Ganesha who is now, uh, by the way, uh, this is an interesting one. There's a crimin injuria case that has been brought against me by one offended party in this, in this case of Lord Ganesha. Now, that's a first for me because there have been other uh, cases that uh, Jacob Zuma has brought a case of def two cases of defamation. Both of them have been dropped. Uh, Baleka and Bete tried a defamation case many years ago. It didn't get very far. Um, there have been other things brought against cartoonists and satirists. This is a criminal injuria case. Now, what's interesting about that is one of my lawyers, a very clever set of lawyers, uh, said a criminal injuria case has to be actually brought by the person or party offended. 
So I'm waiting for a large figure um, With four and arms. an elephant head and, and a human body and four arms to actually come and, and make that case. And, and, and if not, then that criminal injury case will get thrown out too. And the Global uh, Hindu Society has asked for a public apology. Yeah, well, uh, as you can see, I'm not exactly out to do give an apology. Look, now I'm, I, I don't want to come across as being too flippant and too... Um, you know, happy to offend. I did not set out to offend here. I, I set out, I've said there are two kinds of cartoons about religion. The one is a cartoon that actually criticizes an aspect of religion or adherents of religion, devotees who, who maybe transgress other people's human rights, you know, it's that, that are part of our constitution. So I would criticize them and I would feel that we have to have the right to do that. And some of those cartoons would be more, and would, would maybe sail closer to this press code offense thing that he might, uh, that the, the ombudsman might look at. But in this case, it was using religious, a religious symbol as a metaphor. And, and I, I, I really feel that, it, that the average viewer or reader of, of that cartoon would understand that. And that's why I'm so, so absolutely firm in my defense of it and, and in saying that it would be against my principles to apologize because we, I did that cartoon without intending to cause offense. I did it, and even if I had been intending to cause offense, we should have the right within a society. Religious tolerance should not only apply to religious people. Religious tolerance should apply the other way. They should realize that in the 21st century, people should have the right to do things that may not be in the, to, to the taste of people who follow religions. Now the fact that you haven't apologized, actually uh, an open letter was published recently uh, and it described you as arrogant, insensitive and disre disrespectful. What, what's your response to that? Somebody's quite free to describe me as all of those things. Um, they could, I, I suppose from the things I've been saying, somebody could quite easily describe me as arrogant. I, I just hold my beliefs very strongly. Um, disrespectful. If by disrespect somebody would mean that I respect uh, everything equally and I hold religions in no higher regard than I hold other philosophies or ways of thinking or politics for that matter, then sure. What was the third one? <laughs> um. It was arrogant, disrespectful, and insensitive. Insensitive. Same thing would apply to the, the previous answer. That um, uh, my sensitivities for me are about human rights, about uh, being anti-corruption, about having a, what I call a progressive agenda, about defending the underdog, about all of those things. But sensitivities to religious doctrine, mm -mm. I, I, yeah, somebody could quite easily call me insensitive. I'm sure.